I'm going to outline our mission to the Philippines, and in particular, New Bilibid Prison. This presentation being made sometime in the year 2004. Our mission to New Bilibid Prison we started in 2001 when I got news of my brother's conversion and baptism. He became a Christian and I was pleased to hear that he'd turned his back on crime to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. We came to New Bid of Prison, Gordon Smith and I, uh, in August 2001 and we had a very good time in the prison. We went round to speak to some of you men in the various chapels and churches within the prison. We were so impressed by the good work that God was doing, we requested a hundred men to write their testimonies. And this too, I believe we've been sent to you to encourage you to to put your testimonies in writing comply with Michael's suggestion request. So I am Just to show you the picture of Michael being baptised by Lucas Dangatton in Ubilibri Prison in a water butt. This is the story of my conversion, how I came and turned from crime to Christ when I was a youngster, in 20 years old. As a result of our mission to you in 2001, we requested over 100 men write their testimonies. And for a year, Lucas, and Michael and I and William Pollock, we worked on getting testimonies together to print this book. Uh, Trojan Warriors. And this book contains 66 testimonies of converted men from crime to Christ, living testimonies so that these men can take back to their own cities when they leave the jail and their families and tell the good the world all that the Lord Jesus Christ has done for them. We had a lot of opposition. I don't know, but you know where opposition comes from from the Lord. Against the Lord, I mean, is from Satan. And uh, men have evil hearts, you see. But the Lord uses all men to achieve his purposes. After we got the opposition in December 2001, Ghani spread gossip about me, and I had to deal with that matter. As I record in our book, Before the Cock Crows, which is in three parts, and also as an audio book that tells of the opposition that we faced and who were responsible, and of the successes of our mission. And eventually we were able to register Trojan Horse International Tulip with SEC, the Security Exchange Com Commission, and we were registered in, on the 14th of May 2003. We also later appointed um, Arnel Gonzalez as our, our RVO, and we were accepted by Buca as a religious volunteer group to work within New Bilibid Prison. But we've had difficulties still. But never mind, our objectives really are these. We wanted to bring uh, the assistance we could to former inmates or inmates of New Bidwick Prison and wherever we go that have become Christians to equip them to go back to the, their cities and towns where they come from and share the gospel with them. We, want to, we wanted to use Lucas and help Lucas develop his theological institute and to produce the only, the first college ever in a, a major institution, a major jail such as New Bidwick Prison, to train men, and teach them uh, the many things that we could about the gospel and the way of life, and in particular, it's developed into the concept of the Christian church. What is the Christian church? A local community of people living and breathing the word of God and bringing benefit to the local society in which they're in, to help the children, the youngsters with work, recreation, help mothers and sickness, to help and bring relief and aid. The local church should be doing this, bringing the gospel of Christ to men. And how a church should function, its rules, its order, is set out in the New Testament. And the Old Testament is prophesied the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob, and she is as a city built on a hill, and she is in heaven, but she's descending out of heaven on a beautiful place built of gold and, and silver and precious stones built on 12 foundations, which is the doctrine of the apostles and prophets and Jesus Christ himself, the chief cornerstone. This vision or view of the Gospel Church is one we wish to develop, and William Pollock is en route to establish a Gospel Church in Bagu City, 
and we sought to enable all our Trojan warriors in the same direction and give our support to them. Now, our good news is this, that William has still stayed with us, William Pollock, in Baguio City. We went in January 2003, we baptised over 22 men there, and also into Benguet City, District Provincial Joe, we, ba we baptised about eight men there. We're now at the District Jail, what is the jail? Provincial Jail, Benguet. Benguet, Provincial Jail. William Pollock has come, and we have... William, Sir William, could you just speak to the camera, tell me what day is it? Uh, today is the uh, 28th of uh, oh. January. Oh, what are we doing today? We're going to baptize our brothers here inside the Can we just have a look at some of the men here? In there, eight souls. We go back this December uh, 2004 uh, with a mission with, with William to apparently this past two years he's established a church and we want to encourage the church to set it in good order and perhaps get a building or a function room rather than rent. We want to encourage people and also ministers um, gospel ministers that are working in church, we'd like to help them, much, perhaps bring them to England to work for Trojan Horse. Uh, they can work in a secular field to get some income, and they can go back and send money back to the family. We've got a good work to do, and the Lord has called us, and this is our desire to help further the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So I request you help us in the problems we've got. Help me be reconciled to those men in New Britain prison that are opposed to me. Help, let's put matters right. And let's go on in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So God bless you and help Michael, because he's been Macalette, as you know. Um, I'm not against uh, uh, drink in that sense, but I'm against drunkenness, which is, of course, wrong, and also other forms of bad behaviour. Uh, so there we are. So I commend you to God, and uh, maybe Dave, Dave Courtney will come next time, and maybe we'll see a development in his life in serving the Lord. Amen. This video has been released after 18 years and I wish to direct all you men now in the ministry to my series of studies and readings by Dr John Gill on the nature of a gospel church including its officers and responsibilities even of church members as this will be your next area of development there in the Philippines as William Pollock will tell you and has found out for himself.